Okay, today we're going to take a look at finding the components of a composite function. Um, all right, um, and th this is something that's going to be really handy when you start doing derivatives and calculus um, and you get to the place where you're doing chain rule because you clearly have got to be able to find the inside and the outside function when you're looking at a composite function. All right, so usually in a pre-calc class, they'll just start you out um, asking you to find the individual components of a composite function, trying to warm you up and get you ready for what you're going to be encountering in calculus. All right, I'm going to go through three examples here. Um, in each one of these scenarios, I'm just going to say that our h function is going to be the composite function f of g of x. Okay, so then our, our g of x is going to be our inside function, and our f is going to be our outside function. All right, now I'm going to ask you to find the individual components. I'm going to ask you to find f of x. I'm going to ask you to find g of x, all right, um, given a composite function, and the composite function can change for each example. All right, so here's my composite function, h of x is equal to 2x minus 1 raised to the 10th power. All right, now this really is sometimes hard to teach. All right, um, some people will just see it and some people struggle a little bit with it. But if I'm looking at this, I would ask yourself, where is the inside part of this function? All right, to me, the inside of this function is this 2x minus 1. All right, well, if that's the inside, then I'm going to let g of x equal that. All right, so then my g of x function is going to be that 2x minus 1. All right, well, if this is the inside, well, then what's the outside? Well, the outside is whatever the inside is being raised to the 10th power. So then my f of x is going to be that object that we put on the inside raised to the 10th power. Okay, so there is one possible answer. Now, the thing is, um, on a lot of these, depending on how you look at it, the answers are not necessarily unique. All right, so somebody else could do it a different way. My only suggestion is, is that you do not just let your inside function g of x be x. All right, that's too simple, and you're not really getting the, the importance of what the, it's asking you to do. All right, just to give you an alternative on this one, if I let the inside function just be that 2x, not necessarily the best choice, all right, if you're trying for, to prepare for calculus. However, if I did... All right, if I let the inside function be just that 2x right there, well, then the outside function would have to be everything else. So what would I have plugged it into? My f of x function then would have to be the x minus 1 raised to the 10th power. Okay, so the only reason I did that is just to show you answers are not unique. You, you can do these generally more than one way. All right, for my second function, everything's going to remain the same. I'm assuming that my h of x function is my composite function. I want you to find the inside and the outside function. All right, trig functions are pretty common, all right, especially in calculus and working our derivatives. So if I've got the sine of 2x, all right, well, where is the inside function? That's probably the, the number one question you want to ask. Well, the inside function is that 2x. So then that means my g of x is going to be the 2 of x. Well, if that's the inside function, the outside function is that trig function. So then f of x is just going to be sine x because I would have taken it and plugged it in there. Okay, so there's one possible answer for that one. All right, um, and then going through this last example here really quick. Again, everything is set up the same way. I want you to find the inside and the outside functions. All right, if my composite function is of h of x is equal to 1 over x squared minus 2. You kind of got to ask yourself, where's the inside function? Well, I'm kind of seeing this complicated expression right here being the inside. All right, if I let g of x be that x squared minus 2, all right, then the outside function would be 1 being divided by whatever that is. So my f of x or the outside function then would be, whoops, sorry, 1 over x. Okay, all right, so just really, seriously, three quick little examples there of going through trying to find the inside and the outside uh, part of the composite function. And again, this is a skill that would be, um, you'd be practicing in a pre-calc class, getting you ready for uh, doing chain rule in a calculus class. Now, right, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like, and uh, think about subscribing to the channel for me too as well. Thanks.